Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. Um, I am going to go back to the, um, the DLC, the first DLC, and I am going to open up a door that we have a key to which we read, but we didn't use. Um, so... I walk really slow by this guy so he doesn't chase us, by the way. Uh, that was successful. So yeah, there was this door here which opens with the Eternal Sanctum key. I don't know why she still sings, because we killed her, so that's uh This kind of reminds me of the area in uh, the DLC of uh, Dark Souls 1. I remember these contained very useless items, except for that. Lightning clutch ring. I guess we've seen the clutch rings and we've seen the other ones other than lightning. But then yeah, it's just dried root. Right, root. Right, root, which is exciting. Well, let's see if those ring the rings are special. Uh, the clutch rings. I mean, I guess the clutch rings are new to the DLC. I get. I just think of them as a common one because they're in um, Dark Souls Three. So I guess we haven't read this one at all. Ring depicting a hand grasping a stone, but reduces physical offense. The origin of this ring is unknown, but its design suggests one of the darker deities. Do we do we not have another clutch ring? Am I just like I'm just well, I guess I'm just thinking about Oh, there's cl are there, is there clutch rings in one or something? I just I, th I feel like I remembered recently talking about um, the darker deities, but I don't know. Maybe I had them and I put them in my item box or something. There's a guy outside screaming his lungs out for the last five minutes here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, 
Hopefully you can't hear that. Sanctum shield. This is an interesting shield if I could if I recall. By the way, does this this uh, crown do anything special? Some of the crowns do special things. Uh okay, sanctum shield. Nope. A shield with a curious design, one of the treasures of the sunken king. A mixture of myst mystical tree branch and sacred chime iron allow the shield to serve as a catalyst for miracles and sorceries. Most of the miracles and sorceries created in the Sanctum City were lost, but the quality of their armor and shields suggest highly advanced craftsmanship. Um, I don't know if there's any point to uh, lighting these. It wasn't in the original game. Um, but, so, let's try, I guess. That's not gonna hurt us. Or maybe I didn't understand what it did or something. And it does the same thing. So as I said previously, I'm not going to do this section because I'm a sane person. But I will take care of this rock shield balder. I guess that was supposed to be a balder night, I don't know. But yeah, so I just wanted to jump into this bonfire. And I can bring this up. This is a shortcut then. I don't exactly know why it's here. And then in this area, it is like a gauntlet. It's ridiculous. And then it brings you to three kind of overpowered, um, you know, kind of like people, like NPCs. And I don't know. It's just kind of an, it's an annoying fight. It's probably the easiest of the, the un the ridiculous uh, expectations um, uh, from the DLCs that From gave, like the, the worst one is in, from the third DLC in my opinion, but um, you get like the Mask of the fa Father after beating that, and it's called Pharaoh's Mask, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if that tries to link Pharos with the pinwheel or not, but pinwheel is a necromancer, could be considered an inventor. I don't know. But this is called the Priestess's Chamber. So let's go back to uh, Majula. And let's. Um, Um, let's get some more, uh, you? some of these, 64, okay, let's read through these items, um, I mean, I assume we've read this, Lanifer, yeah, because then we met Magarold, who's from Lanifer, um, Pete's stuff we obviously read, Kale's armor. Apparently, yeah. So his hat said the same thing. So it's just cool that you can wear his stuff. Obviously, the saint's stuff, which we've got in red. Hexer's hood. Oh, so yeah. You can like buy these from him or get them or something. Then we didn't do that 
Maybe we read these, I don't know. Hood worn by a hexer. Slightly increased spell uses belong to Falcon the Outcast. Hexing appears to be an offshoot of sorcery, but its specific origins are unknown. Those who have a taste of dark are drawn into its vortex and rarely return. Perhaps it appeals to something deep within the human soul. Okay. Targray. Helm of one who guides others. Belong to Targray, Knight of the Blue. Targray can appear obtuse, but the blue knight means no harm. He only wishes to offer guidance to, need, to those in need, for that is his purpose. The blue sentinels have vowed to uplift themselves through the tireless training and selfless adherence to order and justice. May this armor ease their difficult journey. Okay. Robe worn by servants of Nar Alma, the god of blood, increases souls acquired for each kill, belong to Tichi Gren, that's his name. Those who profess faith in Nar Alma have rejected all that is this world and vowed to travel a path stained with blood. We kind of knew about those guys. Um, and I think the chaos robe was whatever, but it doesn't really have any description anyway. Agdane. Robe worn by Agdane of the Undead Crypt. Uh, life itself is suffering, or karma. Yeah, we read this. The embrace of death awaits all things, but does death mean an end to suffering? And then we have the Dark Drift. It's weird because Agdane has like two different weapons. Katana of Grave Warden Agdane has a crystal clear blade and a strong attack that slices through enemy shields. This katana was originally wielded by the one who gave us the first death and still exists imperfectly between planes. And the Scythe of Nar Alma. Scythe used by Chichi Gren and by believers in Nar Alma, God of Blood, normally used only in ceremonies imbued with the power of dark. This is no place for talk of such things, however. Thank you kindly. You need armor. Okay, and nothing new. Um, however, straight is, sure? straight is gonna have something new. Let me, uh, put stuff in my, uh, in my item box here. Just so we can arrange things better. Um, I don't need that anymore. I believe we've read everything with these guys, so I'm just gonna put these all. I made a few boss weapons off screen. Okay, now we just have the two. Don't need those right now. I mean, I guess I could someday want to use those, but I doubt it. Just because I don't know. Uh, I need that for farming, but whatever. I'm not really farming at this point. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a clutch ring in there. I don't know what's going on with that. good with that. So let's go to Strayed. And we'll um, read uh, what we can about the if he has any boss weapons. Now the thing is is that um,
um, I killed off um, horn effects in my playthrough for some silly reason. And you have to play a certain amount of time and then a gravestone comes alive and then you can revive them. So I am going to do that. Well, we might go and see how much it costs, but... So, if you see bigger... Let's see if he says anything new, actually. Cursed one, take these. Oh, cool. Put them on, and please, stop being so weak. Okay, yeah, so that's not anything new. Let's, let's read the black robes. Black Hood, grants slight increase to spell casting speed. Strayed was invited to the old kingdom of Olaphus for his wisdom, but its depth was such that people soon feared him, and in the end, Strayed was led into a dreadful trap. So yeah, they obviously did this to him. Turn him to stone. Strayed spent several lifetimes as stone. During his hiatus, kingdoms rose and fell until this land called Drang Lake came to be. Okay, so maybe this is implication that Olaphus is not the previous one, but it was something at one point. Okay. So if you speak up. Yeah. So yeah, I don't even know if he has anything. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have anything now. Um, well, what else does he have? Do we read this? Hood of the Forlorn who wandered the land of undead, born of Aldia's obsession with the first sin, the Forlorn lost both their corporeal form and a world to call their own. Now they drift into other worlds, ever in search of a home, but without self, one has neither beginning nor end, and so the Forlorn have only to wander. I don't know what these are. I think we read all these because I don't think he gets more. Um, as you go on, but okay. So one thing I did is I turned my Brightstone Cove into here it is into three because I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to burn another bonfire so that I, so that I, because I originally didn't want to get you know the old pale drake soul and then i did it again to see if uh, to see if uh, orn effects would come back because i didn't know the mechanics in this game all that well so So yeah, we're just gonna, for all I know, there's no, okay, there's gravestone now, that's good. Ah, stamina. Like, I really don't like how they did this area and this one. Because, like, it seems like in a lot of ways they fix stuff where, like, if you're running to a, if you're running to a, a merchant or something like that, like, you can, uh, sorry, <laughs> sometimes they start talking and I'm concentrating. Um... If you're going to a merchant, like, why would they make it, like, harder? Like, it should, you should be able to clear the way so that you can just go back to that thing easily. But, you know, with this, now we have to fight these guys every time. 
And it's just tedious. Yeah, and I guess the door broke down, so like they'll always be shooting at us. There's still more spiders coming. All right, see how much this costs. Okay. I don't know if that's based on your level or not. Um, so I, in other words, I don't know if that's gonna go up, but I feel like that's an okay. I'll, I'll keep, I'll always keep some souls around for that. But maybe she doesn't even, I don't know. Maybe you can't make weapons from these souls. I don't know. If you provide a weapon, I require no. So we got York Spear and this. Hmm. It's interesting. Spear wielded by Sir Yorg during his invasion of the Sanctum City. After his defeat of the Sunken King, Sir, Yor Sir Yorg pierced Sin, the slumbering dragon, with his spear to claim its blood. But Sin immediately awoke, spewing a poisonous fog that blanketed the city in death, and Sir Yorg disappeared into the Eternal Sanctum. So, that's cool. An armament forged from the soul of Alana, child of dark. When the abyss dissipated, the things that called it home were fragmented and scattered across the realm. Eventually, these pieces regained form in ways that hinted at humanity's true nature. Hmm. So I wonder where we get the story about Alana, like, coming from afar and taking advantage. Okay. Maybe that is just a story in the... Uh, Maybe that's just a story in uh, like the other DLCs, and just because there's another kind of Child of Dark, we assume that it's the same situation, but maybe I missed an item. Well, we really don't have any... Uh, like this will just be a super short episode. Um, is there anything else we can do here? And we're going to level up. Like, I just think we're done with everything. Like, you know, except for, you know, starting a whole new thing. So, the only thing I guess I can do... I'll just level up and then I will start a new episode so I can play the Broom Tower. And we can do Broom Tower next time. There until hope. Um, so yeah, what are we gonna I mean, I guess we could always get a little bit more adaptability, but... More strength, I guess. But, I don't know, I guess endurance at this point. So... Um... So we're going to go to Broom Tower, which is here. All right, well, I can't drag this out any longer. So um, and I guess we'll, uh, we'll like go to the place. It's one thing I saw I didn't notice, but you can hit this and it will move. And I guess another thing that's interesting, I mean, these used to be spewing flames too, is that the, you know, these bull heads that were spewing flames, and there's this bull here. Uh, we'll be seeing that a lot in the DLC, so I guess, you know. 
be aware of that, that these are the things from here. Oh, great. Oh, I gotta, gotta do this one. All right, thanks for watching, and we will uh, start the next episode at uh, Broom Tower. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.